Uh, no, I still uh, think India is still looking fine and the outperformance will continue. In our global funds, uh, we would be overweight India. So, uh, and you mentioned Indonesia. Yes, Indonesia also looks good. A couple of other markets like Mexico, Canada. US itself, we like non-tech more than tech. So now our systems are liking more traditional cash flow businesses uh, like consumer staples and so on. So in the U.S. will tend to be overweight that because the because also I mean uh, even if you look fundamentally that the rate tightening cycle hits uh, the companies where the cash flows and profits are far away because that discount rate is going up essentially for a cash flow discounted cash flows if you talk of value then i mean i would say that as i said that our systems are liking uh, companies with more cash flow currently so which 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 you can say is the value bucket so i mean we would be more overweight that so when i say non tech more cash flow so that that is pro- that is that is what it is i mean in uh, in tech you can argue i'm not saying that you should not be buying but a lo- lot of stocks which have fallen still don't have great cash flow to even justify yeah. this valuation on traditional metrics so That's i mean true. you might still uh, like that but i mean not everything is i mean like meta of course you will say that has profits and cash flows but many of the smaller names don't so yeah. you have to really pick and choose uh, so that that is the thing in in india of course yeah india valuations are high as they always are relative to the rest of the world i don't think india has ever been cheap Uh, relative to the world uh, but india of course uh, while i had said this beginning of this year also that the market uh, would outperform and also said that it is not the market of 2021 when a uh, rising tide sort of lifted all boats this year you have to be more pick and choose in terms of sector than companies so that that still remains ah uh, i was about especially, to ask you that continues right that continues and especially you know this year the commodity prices have been all over the place so that has impacted different companies differently in some cases the output prices have gone up so uh, very good for the profits and margins whereas for others inputs have gone up and so it has actually pressured the margins though of course now a lot of commodities have retraced that big move they had 